Have you ever felt ignored or shut down by someone you care about? This could be a sign of what we call stonewalling. It's a term that describes a communication tactic where an individual emotionally closes off, refusing to engage in conversation or interaction. While it can manifest in various situations, it becomes particularly challenging when it's a strategy employed by a narcissist. To navigate this tricky terrain, we first need to understand why stonewalling happens. One reason is control and manipulation. Narcissists often employ stonewalling as a power play. By ignoring you, they can control the conversation and manipulate your emotions. This leaves you feeling anxious, confused, and desperate for their attention, thus giving them the upper hand. Another reason is the difficulty in emotional regulation. Some narcissists may struggle with managing their emotions and withdraw as a way to avoid feeling overwhelmed or to sidestep conflict. However, it's important to remember that while this might explain their behavior, it doesn't excuse the impact on you or the relationship. So, stonewalling is essentially a form of emotional withdrawal. It can be used as a power play, a manipulative tool by some, or as a way to avoid dealing with overwhelming emotions. Regardless of the reason behind it, the result is often the same. A communication breakdown, leaving one party feeling ignored and invalidated. In the context of narcissism, it's a tactic that can make the narcissist feel superior and in control. They're able to dictate the flow of the conversation, manipulate your emotions, and avoid dealing with their own emotional shortcomings. Understanding stonewalling and the reasons behind it is vital. It's the first step in recognizing this behavior and the first stride towards effectively navigating it. The path can be challenging, especially when dealing with a narcissist. But remember, knowledge is power. Stonewalling can be a tough tactic to navigate, but understanding why it happens is a crucial first step. Now that we know what stonewalling is, let's learn how to spot it. Recognizing the signs of stonewalling can be a tricky business, but there are a few telltale indicators that you're dealing with this manipulative tactic. One of the most common signs is a sudden and inexplicable silence. The person may abruptly stop talking or responding to your attempts at communication, leaving you in a bewildering conversational vacuum. Then, there's the cold indifference. The person might display a blank expression, avoiding eye contact or giving minimal verbal responses. This can feel like an emotional ice age where you're left out in the cold. Lastly, beware of the shift in focus. Stonewallers often try to distract you by changing the topic or introducing new activities. They might even try to divert your attention elsewhere, effectively diverting the conversation away from a topic they'd rather avoid. Recognizing these signs can help you identify when you're being stonewalled and take appropriate action. So, you've spotted the signs. What next? How do we navigate a stonewalling narcissist? First and foremost, maintaining your composure is key. When faced with a wall of silence, it's easy for frustration or anger to seep in. However, these reactions can often play into the hands of a stonewalling narcissist, giving them the emotional reaction they may be seeking. Instead, strive to keep your tone calm, your words measured, and your emotions in check. This can help keep the conversation from escalating into an unproductive argument. Next, setting boundaries is crucial. Stonewalling is a form of emotional manipulation, and it's important to communicate that such behavior is not acceptable. You might say something like, I understand if you're upset, but shutting down the conversation isn't helpful. I need you to communicate with me when we have disagreements. Remember, your feelings and needs are just as valid, and it's essential to assert them in a respectful yet firm manner. Prioritizing your personal well-being is another key step. It's easy to let a narcissist's stonewalling affect your emotional state, but don't let their behavior define your happiness or self-worth. Engage in activities that bring you joy, connect with supportive friends and family, and take time for self-care. This can help you stay grounded and emotionally resilient in the face of their stonewalling. Last, but certainly not least, consider seeking professional help. If you find yourself frequently on the receiving end of stonewalling, it may be a sign of a deeper issue within the relationship that might benefit from professional intervention. Therapists or counselors can provide valuable tools and strategies to navigate these challenging dynamics and can also help you explore whether the relationship is truly healthy and beneficial for you. While it can be difficult, remember that you have the power to control your reactions and prioritize your own well-being. You're not alone in this journey, and there are resources and support available to help you navigate these rocky terrains. After all, understanding the situation is the first step towards navigating it effectively.
Let's summarize what we've learned today about dealing with a stonewalling narcissist. Firstly, understanding why a narcissist might resort to stonewalling is key. This behavior can often be a manipulative tactic, aimed at gaining control and stirring up anxiety in the person on the receiving end. It's a power play, designed to make you feel confused and desperate for their attention. Alternatively, it could be an avoidance strategy used by those struggling with emotional regulation. However, it's crucial to remember that regardless of the reason, it's an impact that matters, and this behavior is never acceptable. Next, recognizing the signs of stonewalling is an essential step. Look out for sudden silence or a cold, indifferent demeanor. Be aware of attempts to shift focus away from the conversation or the issue at hand. These are all classic indications of stonewalling. Once you've identified the behavior, knowing how to navigate the situation is vital. Maintain a calm and composed demeanor, and don't let their silence provoke anger or frustration. Clearly communicate your boundaries and express how their behavior is affecting you. Above all, prioritize your well-being. Don't let their stonewalling dictate your emotional state. Engage in activities that bring you joy. Connect with supportive individuals and focus on self-care. Finally, don't hesitate to seek professional help if stonewalling becomes a recurring pattern that significantly impacts your well-being. Therapists can provide valuable insights and equip you with effective strategies to manage this challenging dynamic. In conclusion, stonewalling is a harmful communication tactic, regardless of who's implementing it. While you can't control their behavior, you can control your own reactions and prioritize your emotional health. Recognizing the signs, setting boundaries, and seeking help can empower you to navigate these challenging situations more effectively. Remember, setting boundaries and seeking help are not just options. They're crucial steps in dealing with a stonewalling narcissist. You're not alone and there's always help available.